So what is pH? pH is a negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. Now, I want to write that down. So pH is a negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. The normal range for a pH is 7.35 to 7.45. So when we say 7.35 to 7.45, that means to say that anywhere from 7.35, 7.36, 7.37, and so on, 7.45 are all within normal pH range. If I have a pH of 6 versus a pH of 10, which of these two has a bigger number of hydrogen ions? The one with the lesser number has more hydrogen ions. So the first step in determining whether or not a patient is imbalanced or has an abnormality in acid base is to look at the pH. If you take a look at this one, which of the following contains the most hydrogen ions? A, okay. It has the most acidic concentration because it has more hydrogen ion. The pH is a scale, and therefore the normal is between 7.35 to 7.45. If the pH is 7.10, that is less than 7.35. That would mean to say that the patient is in acidosis. If the patient is 7.50, the patient has less hydrogen in the blood, and therefore the condition is known as alkalosis. To underscore the point, let us look at this particular example. Normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Whenever you have a pH that is going to be less than 7.35, do we have more hydrogen or less hydrogen? More. So based on this, what would 7.32 be? We have more hydrogen. So when we have more hydrogen, what is the condition known as? Acidosis. So we're going to put this as acidosis. So let's take a look at 7.47. 7.47 is an increase in the pH. Does that mean to say that there is more hydrogen or less hydrogen? Less hydrogen. If there is less hydrogen, what do we call that situation? Alkalosis. And how about 7.12? Acidosis. How about 7.42 then? Normal, that means to say that it is within the normal range and therefore there is acid-base balance. All right, how about 7.66? Alkalosis, there's too much uh, pH and therefore less hydrogen. How about 7.11? Acidosis. And how about 6.79? Acidosis, okay? It has too much hydrogen and therefore this usually is going to be incompatible to life. They say that when you have a pH of 7.0, you're six feet under the ground. So we have finished identifying the state of the pH. You know now to identify the pH as either normal or if it is acidosis or if it's alkalosis. This concludes the first step in interpreting an arterial blood gas, examining the pH.